Hey guys, welcome back to another exploration in Japan and I'm in a place that has been on my bucket list for around three to four years. This is the abandoned western village in Japan and it has been abandoned since 2006 and it's still in a unique condition, super easy to get in and I just love it. I'm gonna explore this place, tell you all about it, why, it's, why it is abandoned and yeah, just let's go, let's explore it and I'm really excited. First thing we're gonna do is go over this hanging bridge over here. <laughs> it looks kind of scary to get over. It goes over a river. So we have to watch out a little bit. But, but I see there are two steel, steel beams that you can walk on. They look quite safe. When I say quite, uh, <laughs> I'm not uh, exaggerating. <laughs> so let's go over here. This started as a little bit of a range where Japanese people could come and ride some horses, have some American food. But over the years, it, uh, yeah, it's expanded a little bit. There were some attractions added to it and it became a really big Western village to give the Japanese people an experience of the Wild West, how it was in America. You can see here over here, there's some sort of a townhouse. Hmm. Looks closed. Let's go around here. Oh my god. The police, the police, watch out. No, no. <laughs> it's a Japanese police car. 110, you have to call when you have trouble in Japan. Cool. Very cool. Bump card. Wow. So we are in the townhouse right now and over here the Japanese people could, could come and uh, eat something when they were here with their kids and when they had, were having fun. We could also ha have some food. You can see this all, all resembles American and Mexican food. <laughs> some sausages, I think some pancakes, some pasta. Pretty cool, the cups are left behind here. Wow. That would be the kitchen. Yeah, it's pretty strange in Japan. Ashtrays. You American people are all done, like thinking, what, ashtrays inside of a restaurant? Yeah, and almost every restaurant in Japan you can smoke. I'm like, what? And on the streets you can smoke. Nobody allows it to smoke on the streets, but in restaurants it's good to smoke. I'm like, what? That's so different. And in uh, Europe it's just vice versa. You can smoke on the streets, but you can't smoke in the restaurants. <laughs> We were here inside of the sheriff's office. When we get caught today here inside of this place, we have to come here and they are going to determine if you are guilty or not. Let's head on inside. Let's see over here. Wow, I think these were the machines. This was a little game to test if you are guilty or not. And you would have to press yes or no. And on the screens there might have been questions. You see, this is a casket for a body. Over here is the sheriff's judgment room. Wow. Look at the enemy figures here on the wall. That's so cool. You get a sense that you're still in Japan, but it feels like America. Look at it. Still lying here after 10 years. All the papers, the desk. If you see something like this in Europe, or in Europe it's gonna be good, but if it's in America, it's destroyed in a few weeks. Japan, the rising sun, people are so respectful over here. Oh, that's so cute. Look at all the children's drawings over here. I think they had to draw themselves in a wanted figure. Yeah, maybe it says wanted in Japanese or something like that. And then a prize. <laughs> they even draw some anime figures. Pretty cool. There's just a menu over here, and the prices are actually very, very cheap. It's a few euros for everything. But uh, over here, I think it's chicken with fries. And uh, this is pancake with ice cream, I think. Oh, 
and the rest I can't read. If any of you can translate it, it would be very cool. I can only translate a few. It's nice to see these. Wow. So we are in the western village right now. We're gonna check out all the buildings over here. But first off, look at these machines over here, these gaming machines. I think this is Pachinko for children. If you don't know, Pachinko is a really popular Japanese game that adults play all around Japan. Uh, we saw it in Tokyo, we went inside of one, and it's some sort of gambling. But here they made a kid's version of it, and there's balls going around, falling into these slots. I don't know how it works, but it's some sort of gambling. Air hockey. Wow. That is incredible. Look at this. Claw machines over here. Japanese people are crazy about arcade games. We went to Akihabara and Tokyo and everybody was playing uh, arcade games over there. They're just crazy about their games. And over here you can see it as well. But then the abandoned version of it. You can see how, how this is all left behind here. I think the place got abandoned because it was not feasible anymore. This is in a kind of small town. Kind of. It's not compared to Tokyo or to other cities like Nikko, but uh, yeah, I think that's the reason why it got abandoned, just not enough visitors. 200 yen for a play. It's like 1 euro 50. This is hit the mall, I think. Chuck, 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 chuck. This is a horse racing game. Racing game. Sit on a horse. Wow. Wow, over oh, here's this game. This is some sort of a tuck war. Oh, have to be like. <laughs> cool game. Wow. <laughs> Never seen that before. Oh, here's the shooting range. The gun shooting range. You put in some coins, catch a gun. All the figures over there, it's so cool. Western shooting, 1887. Love it, love it, love it, just love it. Let's take a stroll through the Western village, see what's left behind. Over here is a beautiful horse carriage. As you can see, still intact. What is so incredible about this explorer's journey? <clears throat> we are in the cherry blossom season at the moment. It's spring. Japanese trees are in full bloom. You can see all the white flowers on the trees. It makes this place look magical. There's the street, so we gotta watch out a little bit. Wow, over here we're coming to the Buffalo Range. Here yeah, shows would be given, I think with horses and with stuff like that. I've never been to a buffalo range. I've never been to the USA, actually. Shh, next year. <laughs> Host me if you want. Over here we got the Rodeo coffee shop. Over here we got the smith shop. Wow, the carriage and everything. The sheriff's office. I've noticed that there has been a lot of graffiti. A few years ago there was no graffiti. And uh, now people have Kind of destroyed the place a little bit. It's too bad. Cold dollar, west of Vin village. Here's the bank. Come have a look. Coming here now towards this incredible building. We don't know what it is, I think it was a restaurant. Oh, it says American Dome over there. American Dome. Wow. 
On the back of this there should be Mount Rushmore. I'm not exaggerating, really, Mount Rushmore. So, on the other side of this there should be faces of the American presidents. I don't know which there we are, but uh, I'm sure you guys know. When I'm in America, I want to visit Mount Rushmore. Hmm, some sort of a stage. Oh my gosh, there they are. So this was a pretty cool explorer, unique to see an amusement park like this in Japan. Um, unfortunately, it has been a little bit trashed. I see that it's been done by Western people because these are Western English texts. Sorry, man, that's, that's really unfortunate. The owner has put up some notes telling the people from stay away from here. You destroyed the place. Uh, I'm going to call the police if you come again. Um, unfortunate. So thank you very much for watching this week's video. Please like, subscribe and comment. And if you enjoyed it, support us on Patreon so we can explore more of the world like these places and I want to thank you and see you next week. Bye guys.